the new story now. Hey everybody, Oily here. Camera's working semi-decently today. We'll see how it goes. Make sure you um, silence your external screen. Ah! She <laughs> forgot to silence her external screen. While she's telling us. Like that? Like that. We'll be like that, people. <laughs> All righty. So, I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, we are going to be discussing animals to consider for self-sufficiency. Um, you know, hey, Southern Ark. <laughs> I was just telling my peeps backstage, so to speak, about about our little topics last night. <laughs> So I went to Southern Ark Homestead's um, um, chat last night, and uh, I was in the external, and we were hooting and hollering and stuff, and and we had the hashtag adult diapers and the hashtag <laughs> diapers. Oh, because we were laughing so hard. <laughs> but it was pretty fun, and then also, you know. Here I am, Oily, your expert oilologist, prepperologist. <laughs> I'm an expert at oilology and prepperology. Prepperoni. Prepperoni. <laughs> yeah, please note she she didn't say proctology. That's a total different thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not telling anybody to bend and cough. No, not happening. Nope. I'm not gloving up for that. No crazy. glove. No, no glove. Sorry, people. It Nobody bend over. Nobody. It's not that kind <laughs> of chat. <laughs> anyway, um, this week's been a hectic week. I've had two in the family that have had teeth pulled this week, so I've been running them to the dentist and nursing them up and um, and everything. So it's been crazy. I have to show y'all. A couple of my preps that I got. I actually got this a couple of weeks ago. Well, a week ago, and I forgot to tell you for a dollar. Okay. <gasps> Journal Natural Insect and Disease Control. Oh. For your plants and stuff. For a dollar, people. Okay? Different things to use. Like, because you may not have access to some of the stuff that you need. And so this gives some. A variety of things that you can do to help your harvest go better in your plants. Nice. So I thought that was pretty cool. And our information I, um, I'm going to share tonight came out of this book, Gardeness. I got this on uh, thriftbooks.com, all one word. And napalm works, yeah, <laughs> to get rid of bugs, sure. I'd hate to think what your yard looks like there, Wager, <laughs> if you use napalm every time you see a spider. Preparedness, basic preparedness. I don't have any plants left. Because <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Stretches gloves, so tell me where it hurts. <laughs> Meow. BC's here. <laughs> So, my good friend Jason McDaniels out there. Hadn't seen him in a while. It's good to see you, Jason. Southern Ark Homestead. Hey, Nina. There's in here. We tree. I have a K.I. was out there. I don't know if she still is. She was. See, when you say that, I hear Eye of the Tiger. Okay, it gets stuck in my head. <laughs> anyway. And uh, so this is kind of where I got the idea from in this basic preparedness. And this by no means is going to go into like major depth. Um, but this is kind of get the gears going to be thinking. Um, another prep I got. Puke pans. Woo. <laughs> Bed pans. Isn't that something? Puke pants. You know. Blech, the old hospital puke pan. Oh, Thank you for Somebody sharing. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I could, I I'm going to need more. one now. I, I thought those were jello molds. <laughs> no. They're, they lay under your chin in the hospital bed. Yeah. Like 
Yeah. <laughs> Oh, stop it, Oily. I'm going to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody mute her. Mute. Too. <laughs> so you wouldn't put that fruit salad jello in those? <laughs> so, see, that's enamelware. You realize that the little part of the enamel that's gone is from the bile. That's how it's eroded away. Somebody oh, really no. yacked one up. Oh. On <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you can use plastic bags, but, you know, I... They drip. It, a bulk set of stuff on an auction deal with the. Uh, it had these two pans. It had an old kettle. It had an old big. Wait, so you buy used puke pans from? Uh, okay. Yes. I think you're, I think you're over, going over the edge too far there. I mean. Happy birthday! I didn't have any cake pans, so here you go. <laughs> Why is it shaped so funny? Mold. It's not a kidney. It's not a kidney shape. It's not. <laughs> That is Sorry. not why I bought the stuff. I bought it for the kettle and the big, huge ladle. That you know, when my it reminded me of my aunt, the the big tea kettle and the big, huge ladle. Because when we used to have to go out to the cistern to pull up her water bucket, you know, pull the rope to get their water bucket out and carry the water bucket in, huge ladles that you just use. So anyway, okay, wait. <laughs> Uh, I of the tiger just said bit, hashtag bedpan jello mold. <laughs> you gotta make sure and put some fruit in there to make it good and chunky too. <laughs> and save the chunk. Right. We might be hungry. <laughs> make it green or yellow to make it really realistic. <laughs> Jason McDaniel said, why is this cake chunky? <laughs> <laughs> there she goes snorting again. <laughs> You're going to need to send one of those pans to Mouse because he seems to need it on some of these chats. Wait, but. no, we need to send her a bed pan so she, with her little mouse bladder, she doesn't have to worry about wetting her pants. She can just get on the bed Wait, pan. she still, she oh, said she oh. already had like a, a urinal bottle, so. <laughs> oh. I have a tinkle bucket. Oh God! I mean, that was part of her bug out plan, right? I mean, if there's a hurricane, you don't want to get out of the car, no, because right? somebody could carjack you or something. So you don't want to open the door or roll down a window. So you have to have a urinal bottle. I have my. It's a. I have a freshet, which is a urinary female's urinary device, which means I could write my name in the snow if it snowed, and then I could just use it and tinkle in my. Um, what do you call it? Creamer stuff. Creamora. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have to get out. I got a plan. Tinkle happens, people. People got to pee pee. Tinkle happens. That's right. And we're back to hashtag sterile urine. Oh, God. <laughs> Denti, D BC, denty more beef vomit. Okay. <laughs> is it spam or is it. Mm. <laughs> Boy, hey, it tastes the same to me. You know, we didn't even make it five minutes tonight. <laughs> Being, uh, we're not even, we'd apologize, but you know we don't even mean it because we're just not competent people. And be like Larry the Cable Guy saying, Dear Lord, I apologize. <laughs> hey, Ben Woodsman. Oh, Vienna sausage chunks. Oh, my goodness. Blasphemers. BC's upset that we, we diss the spam. Hey, I'm not really dissing spam. <sighs> it's just that thinking of chunks of spam, that, that kind of, you know, the look of it. <laughs> spam is gross. I told you my oh. dad flirt, freaked out when my mom got spam on sale after he was back from, I don't know, Korea, Japan, somewhere, pick a place, Calcutta. And she had like four of the cans sitting there on the kitchen cabinet. My father walks in and goes, who got this? She goes, it was on sale. He tells my brother, open the door. He threw them straight out the door under our carport and said, that will never be in this house. Because he ate that out of a helmet. I mean, that's all they had to eat. Oh. You know? Yeah. Oh, what they call it? Bleep on a shingle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that well, reminds me of we I don't were, think there was spam, and spam is not part of shit on a shingle, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Yep, because that's, that's all they had to eat, so they did it on it. You bathed out of your helmet. You know, my dad, that, he, he, that was his favorite <laughs> food, SOS. 
and and when when uh, he he got invited back and got to go on a military base or on a ship, that that was what he asked for. <laughs> and oh, I, he's like, "Do yeah, you guys have any SOS?" It does taste better on a ship than than at a shore installation. I don't know why. Maybe it's all that salt water, but yeah. uh, uh, mouse, you could you could take the spam, oh, you can take the spam and cube it, and then you could put it in your craft macaroni and cheese. Oh God! Hey, hey, okay, somebody get that puke pan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, now I there's there's a, Hawaii has a has a big uh, every year they have a spam uh, competition as far as uh, all the top chefs make different dishes. Based that oh. was based on spam, so oh. it's like all the top recipes. Um, right. I'll admit, I like it. I I, yeah. I like spam. It's good. You, you may as well just eat. Eat. It's like eating potted meat. Just eat the it salt. Is. Like tip over your salt shaker and swallow. Well, it's like it. a typical kind of survival food that people can go down to Walmart and pick up some, uh, you know, a case of or something. Yeah, there'll be the McDonald's French fries and spam left over after everything's gone. It's, it's okay. Good. That's not survival food. That's oh my! I'd eat dog food first, please. Probably. I, I See, and Pin Pin Woodsman knows mac and cheese, fake cheese. What is in that cheese powder? Uh, do Nothing I have to go get a box of mac and I, cheese to you shake know, at you again, Mouse? No, I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> I hate to see not, it. I have nightmares. Dog food does not taste that good either. And how do we know the squib? Yeah. Too many, too many drinks that night. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all! <laughs> yeah, remember trying the doggy biscuits? You know, your dad gets you now, all the time. I bet they're good. Now wait, I've eaten milk bones only because Agent Maxwell on Greatest American Hero <laughs> ate those. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, have you ever heard of a doggy bag? I mean, do you know how they came up with that? It's because uh, dogs, after they uh, wild dogs, after they kill their prey, uh, since it's supposed to be out of bad animals, they they. They eat the they eat the meat and then they go back to their den and and they throw up and then their their puppies eat the eat the barf and okay. that's why it's called the doggy bag. So we need Eru to they, eruption. Why in the hell of all the people here would you be the one to try and get us on the actual subject of the show? Have you not had enough to drink? Did you hit your head today? Well, I mean, I am just shocked at you right now. Was that not impressive, that segue he did to try and transition us to what we're I, I, to I saw that. I, that I was heard smooth. That too. Yeah. Well, usually <laughs> I just go straight to talking about guns, but... <laughs> no, you rocked that. That was so smooth, oh eruption. Chill out. We'll, we'll eventually get to it. Maybe the last five minutes of the show, okay? But that, was, that was smooth, like salesman smooth. I'm just like, wow, oh, yeah. eruption Three is rocking. I'll tell you. <laughs> Where the heck is Oklahoma tonight? Speaking of people. Doing well. So y'all please be praying for him. He's hurting probably his back. I don't know. He didn't. Oh. He said he was hurting. So be praying for him, please. Yes. He's a honey bunny. Yes, he is. Okay. I guess we'll get to the topic if I have to. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're so <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that. Here we go. <laughs> it's all over, folks. Okay, stop. <laughs> can't even spell over here. They're, they're both, they both them. are incapacitated right now. <laughs> the the mid folks should take over. I promise I'll have his coffee in here. I don't have any. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even uh -huh. drink alcohol. <laughs> God, it's hard to type when you can't see. <laughs> oh my goodness! I was thinking like a like a pack of Sasquatch for survival animals. They can go out yes. hunt for you. And nobody you see them. Whining. Oh, and we could Sorry, make a coat right. out of their fur. That's right. You see, it's everything. They're like the, they're like the whole the whole deal. In their nails, we could scratch things. With nobody them. and nobody would ever see them. No, because they're you. invisible. Somebody has been in the right. catnip. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I never denied not being in the catnip. I never denied that. Okay. So there may or may not have been catnip involved earlier today. Okay. So just saying. Can neither just confirm nor deny. Exactly. That's right. Because this That's is right. Yeah, I'll show you. 
Well, why? <laughs> why like you are? You have some voices tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's that medicinal catnip. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's biblical. It's biblical. <laughs> Jesus I wanted us that. to have it. <laughs> oh, I'll play the fifth. It's bad to snot nip. <laughs> I have the tigers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodness. Okay, we better get to this. Okay. An eruption typed 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 in the external animals. <laughs> animals <laughs> animals subliminal messaging. <laughs> He's just trying to get us back on track. We could just do another fifteen minutes of you laughing at sword and everybody would be down for that. He He's our helper tonight. I'm so impressed with the eruption. It's like, dang. Oh, my goodness. I'm all right now. Be yeah, it looks like I'm missing a tooth because of my dental thing. <laughs> look, look at that. You have a dental thing? Oh, uh -huh. see, see, it's metal. Oh. <laughs> so far, it looks like I'm missing a tooth. Well, I'm that's like, why you can get into Kentucky. Kentucky's a nice place. I'll try. All right. What what are you gonna have done with that little silver thing? Leave it right where it's at. Okay. All right, because it's special. It's <laughs> sexy. Southern people aren't supposed to have teeth anyway. Hey, ho it's hey, hey. See, it's my boy, my southern. Exactly. Name. As part of her grill, she's gonna spread it across the front. It ain't free <laughs> eruption, so it oh. takes a minute. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> we should have our own radio show. On the Psycho Network. Is there a Psycho <laughs> Network X Serious station? I mean, yeah, that'd be the only place yeah, we could go. we popular in all of the psych wards. <laughs> yes. Calm everybody down. Everybody be laughing. Nobody like, need no I meds. I completely understand. They make yes. sense to me. Yes. <laughs> Finally, someone's speaking the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Snort TV. Okay. Yes, that's what we, we need. Are serious preppers. We just like to do it in an unserious way. Yes, we are very serious. I'll have you know, you would drool if you saw my pantry. Hey. Yeah, I'm serious. Okay, mm -hmm. my serious face. It came yeah. very close to saying something funny. Although it's not any fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're just not, we, th there should be humor. You know, and God put us here to prosper, and he wants us to be happy. So all me and Oily are just getting our happy on. That's all. <sighs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So, when I was flipping through this lovely little book, Basic Preparedness, it's from like 94 or 95, but um, has a lot of great information in here. It's not like down to to know about different animals and stuff, but it kind of gives you some things to think about so that you can get the gears turning, so to speak. Um, so, you know, you may want to consider keeping animals, whether you're in an or, or in a suburban area or in an in a rural. farm, in a rural, thank you, in a rural area. <laughs> Okay, eruption is he's just like our man tonight. I, mean, I know. I know. He's, like, he's like trying to be all serious. You yes. know, it's, cool. it's scary. Cute. He's never yeah. the serious one ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, considering finding land, you know, you need to be looking for certain things like thinking about what kind of animals you want so you'll know how much acreage you need. You need to research how much acreage you need per kind of animal that you're going to have. You need to think about in a long-term situation, you're probably going to have to feed those animals off of food that you raise on that acreage. So Water. that's going to determine, like, like if you're feeding, if you're having cattle, you need to think about having land to grow hay for you know grow grass more important than that you need to figure out how they're going to have water where the water is coming from the above <clears throat> so and how you gonna run the tractor to pick up the hay into bales and roll them yeah mm -hmm. so you know that's going to determine animals you're going to get is the land um 
in the space that you have. So you've got to think about that. Um, like BC says, small space animals are the best, like chickens, rabbits, quail, buzzards. <laughs> yes. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So if you're in town, you know, you have to also think about permits and stuff that you have, have to have for that area. Of course, if it's a, you know, because you're going to want to get this stuff before the poo-poo hits the fan. Okay, people? No, frozen chickens do not couch. J.I.T. Prepping wants to know. Okay. J.I.T. Prepping goes, are we going to be farmers? <laughs> you might. I don't want a farm. I live on a farm, so yeah, it's possible. Okay, so uh, animals can provide not only um, immediate things, like if you have chickens, you have eggs, but also if you raise those chickens, you are butchering them to use for, for your food. So if there's a sizable economic collapse or natural disaster, um, certain commodities might might be nice, like egg, milk, cheese, butter, uh, wool, things like that. So be thinking about all of that whenever you're into um, what animals that you want to get um, prepping. No, we burn your ninnies. Okay, now. <laughs> Sorry, reading the side chat here. <laughs> don't, don't <Okay>. keep. <laughs> they, I'm not even Jewish and oy they. <laughs> I hope I use that correctly, Hawaii. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, I, ate, I ate some matzo before this chat, so that you must be matzo. why I'm doing so well. Yeah. Okay, so in this book, Basic Preparedness, one of the things, you know, the first thing they recommend is not really an animal, but an insect, a bee. So, beehive, you know, you can get honey, you can use the wax for candles. Um, so, plus they also help to to help your plants do better. Um, oh, so, okay. <laughs> he won't stop. Stop! No, you read my mind, so that's good. All yeah. of his brain Nanny, is firing Nanny, tonight. He's free. Nanny's matter. So, We're gonna do hashtag Nanny's matter now. Okay. Going. You only and, need to start when you're cooking bacon. Yeah, that that's that's kind of a necessity. Mm -hmm. If you're cooking anything for me, please put on a shirt unless you yes. got your pit chest shaved. Okay. Yes. Right. Ugh. But so, you know, you have to also consider you have major allergies. You may not want, you know, as far as to bees, you may not. If you or somebody in your household has major allergies to them, that might be better to stick with something else or have it on the back side of your property or something. But yes, pollinating is very great. Um, but you have to have the space. You have to make sure that you do your research on how to take care of them and stuff, and I haven't, so. Do I get a nickel every time, time you say pollinate for the rest of the chat? Pollinate. No, you don't get any royalties off of that. Sorry. How about you know? Hey. <laughs> <I> get a... <laughs> um, <laughs> hey. Um, that's what I say. Hey and um. No. Of course, chickens. There's different kinds of chickens. Uh, that big chickens, little chickens. They're big chickens, little chickens. Oh, roosters can, and hens. <laughs> you can fry chickens. Yes, you right. can make chickens. <laughs> okay, so there's certain breeds of chicken that are best for egg production versus other types of chicken that are better for raising for a meat bird. That. You know, you got to think about the food that you have to be raising for them or whatever to feed them. Mm -hmm. um, space for a chicken coop. Even if you're free ranging, like out here, we had we'd have to put them up at night so that they're safe. Oh, Miss Mouse, my goodness, bull chicken, fried chicken. That's right. Mouseketeer sweaters and oh my oh my oh my okay <laughs> moving on to cattle of course cattle need you know 
and there's the you know right there need quite a bit of acreage and look for animals if you're thinking about larger animals you have to remember the amount of acreage it takes a lot more acreage for them like cows Moo. Mm -hmm. especially or horses like if you're thinking for transportation so you have to consider that consider the supplements that you need to have for those larger animals too especially like um, goats because they need a, a it's, is it goats or is it um, might be both that you need to you know think about the nutrients that they have to have like like a salt lick out to in order to help provide some nutrients. I, I think you the main thing you need for large livestock is water. I mean, because that that is always the hardest thing to find them. In. Well, yeah, water, but you also need anything that's eating grass you want to make sure you have plenty of grass that you can do a rotating system or move them from pasture to pasture as needed um, and the, like I said with the hay so goats of course you've got to remember that you know they may be jumping up on your equipment and your transportation and things so you kind of have to make sure you, Wait, have, you have goats everything. jumping up on your equipment okay they like to jump on things eruption mm, they're jumpers they're goats and they pee on themselves yeah. yeah you look outside and they'll be up on the top of your truck or your car or your tractor because they like to climb I know they climb yeah jumping and climbing are a little different, I guess. But okay. I think sheep are under under underrated because at least you can make clothes out of their wool and stuff. But mm -hmm. not their. Oh, but you can eat them sheep, too. Sheep, I mean, you can also use the tallow if you do if you do um, end up butchering a sheep or goat. You know, any fat from any animal you can use for candles. You can use it to help make soap because the fat combined with lye. Get you soap if you do it in the right. I had this in second grade. I had a teacher whose name was Mrs. Han, and whenever we would try and get her attention and say, "Hey, Mrs. Han," she would always say, "Hay is for horses." Hay is for horses. <laughs> Listen, we're southern, and we go, "Hey, how y'all? How's mom Hi. and them? Hey, you girl. Know? And you know, wait. Um, hang on. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That's how we roll. Eruption. Okay, so cattle, you have services for them, of course, for milk production, which you can then make cheeses, sour cream, you can have cream, and then you can also use them, like I said, for meat, you can use their the fat from them for candles or for soap, so you well, have that I saw, as well. Speaking of milk, I saw, I think Rain Country did a video today, and she was, uh, had some bunch of freeze dry. I think Mother Nature brand, but they had, she, she really liked, I think, Mother Nature's brand of freeze dried milk. Uh, she said she tried a lot of different kinds, and she just likes this one, uh, hmm. and because um, she likes it all regular just by herself, and she does not a milk drinker, but she likes it, so. Uh, huh. It's on Amazon if you can find it. I'll have to check out her video. Yeah, it was just today. And her, Mr. Rain tonight. And then, of course, with horses, they consume a lot. Yes. But you can also consider if you are farming or whatever, you may need horses or something to pull the plow if you if you don't have you're not able to get fuel. Oh my gosh, Mal. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's Finga's fault. Don't read the chat. <laughs> the fastest chicken he ever heard of was the Ethiopian. <laughs> I can't play here. I can't be here. <laughs> the Ethiopian chicken. It's okay. It's okay. I'm it's biggest fault. I was good. I was fine. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm okay. sorry. And those that um, those that don't consume pork, then you know, ignore this. 
You know, you know, you know. I've got okay, listen. Like, I, I don't need a bell. Why are time. you here? <sighs> well, I'm not allowed to eat bacon anymore, so or pizza or ice cream, so. You could probably <sighs> suck on the bacon though and not eat it. Just kind of <laughs> suck it. <laughs> At least get the flip. Because without bacon. No, but if you want to no make rice. a video, I'll watch you doing do that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you know, that, it's, it's so good. I just be like licking it and then handing it to somebody. <laughs> my, and my cardiologist crossed all that shit off or my just, diet. Just lick it or, or whatever and not consume it. That would just not happen. So, but for those you know that want to consider raising pigs, there you go. Or you know. If you don't like pigs, but you've got pigs coming on your property and you kill them, you can use their fat for making candles or for making soap. If you keep snorting, no, you're going to be animals. mistaken for a pig. <laughs> We're killing making, animals. Making if cracklings. A, if a pig comes <laughs> on your on your property, keep it because our subject, according to Ethiopian, no eruption <laughs> is the animals. So don't kill it. Keep it. <laughs> Okay. In BC's, well, I'm sure you could sell it, alive in, or dead. And BC's acting the fool in the chat. That's what did me in. Don't that's true. It. Why you got to think about that too? Even if you don't consume pork, you could. If you have wild pigs, that could be something that you could. Yeah, there's do. there's lots of wild pig on pig on the Big Island. Uh, feral uh, pig hunting is a very big you can thing. Trade it off for something else that you need. Um, even if you don't consume it, there's a book that I got another book that I got from thrift books called raising small livestock. It's got some great information in there. So that might be something you consider thriftbooks.com for just a, like two bucks or something. I yeah, think Yeah, if you're going to try and keep a live pig or capture a, a wild pig and then you're going to have to build a, a pig pen, uh, obviously. No, it would be like a neighbor's domesticated pig who wandered over. If you not in Hawaii, in, 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 start in, another another whole thing with the with the yeah, who does you know. and the in you, oh, the you what, what, the, the Hatfields and McCoys. There you go. <laughs> would you invite them over for a barbecue? The pigs. Oh, <laughs> yes, hey, this is really good hog. No, you don't know where your pig is. Hey, you want some smoked ham? Okay. <laughs> oh God, got, got some pulled pork right here. Oh God, it's so good. <laughs> okay, rabbits. You do have to remember if you're raising rabbits that rabbits don't really have. They're pretty much pure protein. So if you're you're needing essential fats, you're not going to get them from rabbits. You can actually basically starve to death from lack of fat that you need for your body just eating rabbits. So you need to make sure and remember that too. Don't count on it for your only source uh, of protein good point you need a you need a good source of fats to go with that the body has to have the fat and for wool you can um you well, can if you're also use wool you're going to gonna need to know how to and then trade off their young as well once you get the amount of animals you want you can also trade off for excuse me you need so the you shears remember that. for the you need the shears for the sheep too you yeah, and, them, have to, and their butts are nasty, nasty. Remember, if if you're going to rely on these animals for these things in the future, you need to know how to actually do it, how to butcher, how to shear, whatever it is. When when to when's the best time to How breed. to use a spindle? I mean, hey, you have changing a, a wool into a, a cloth and and yarn is a whole other. That's part of it. Oh, yeah. For somebody that does. We were driving down the road, and I saw cotton on the side of the road. You know how a cotton bowl will fly out of the field? Well, in Oklahoma wind, you'll, there'll be a random cotton bowl over in the side of the... Oh, the I pulled over last year and picked one up and handed it to my granddaughter and explained to her that that's what a lot of clothes are made from. I hand her one little cotton ball, and she, she's like... Okay, make your shirt. And I'm like, no. It oh, how work. cute. You have to have a lot more than that. But this is where 
a lot of clothing comes from. So well, it comes from the, the China now. They 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 actually it, it's really they they do all the uh, do all the clothes in China pretty much now. Um, another good point we tree made is to be a prepper, you know it has to be multi-use. So you need to think about what you're putting into this animal, the effort to take care of it or animals, the effort it takes to take care of it, to raise its food, and all of that compared to what you're going to get out of that animal. Because, you know, if you're limited on resources Dang. and you're not, you don't, won't necessarily have a way to get to somebody else, then you've got to be sure that uh, that you you can deal with those resources for that animal yourself. So the time you have to invest in it, the amount of effort you have to invest in it versus what you're going to get out of that animal. And, you know, make a determination and from there. I know. I, I said, you know, again, because you stuck it in my head. I'm going to buy a bill the next time I'm at Walmart if they have them. We're going to go. On Hawaii Volcanoes chat, I did like a a gunshot sound every time he said, you know. <laughs> I love it. A gunshot sound. Pew, yeah. pew. Yeah. You also should but, probably know how to how to fix those animals up if they get sick or something, too. Yep, like exactly. Bumblefoot on your chick thing. chick. Mm -hmm. That was another thing in this book. Herbal remedies, things like that, that you might be able to grow to help, like with chickens, healthy and helping keeping them from spreading disease. Oregano essential oil is really good, or grow oregano and pumpkins, and feed that in with their diet and things like that to help them fight off combat. It's a natural antibiotic that's healthy for us. It's not going to make you sick in the process. So pumpkins will help keep them warmed. Pumpkins? Yep. <laughs> Echo? <laughs> Pumpkins? Hmm. Well, we've got the stuff to build our chicken. So you what? You just put a pumpkin in the chicken coop and that's it? or? Yeah, or? you break it apart so they can peck at it and they'll eat it eat it right down to the, the skin. Oh, wow. All right. <clears throat> well, All right, so, so you take a pumpkin and you take a sledgehammer to it and then you let the chickens peck at it. All they'll, right. They'll if you want to play Gallagher, they, yeah, you can just smash it. I Southern Arkansas <clears throat> says comfrey is good protein source for chickens. Thank you. Okay. And Wheat Tree says chicken. From one chicken, you, you get eggs, meat, feathers, bones for needles, yep. things like that. So there's a lot yep. of – consider all the resources you can get from just that one animal. Now, serious question, uh, not, not even meant to be silly. Eating pumpkin, something that orange um, – Will it change their poop or the color of their eggs by any chance from different something like that? Because, I mean, there's a lot of pumpkins you can get for chickens. I've never seen an orange yeah, egg. I, okay. I, I, I think maybe the yolk might get darker orange, but okay. that's, that's really about it. That makes sense. It'd look richer, I bet. Yeah, it's good for dogs, too. To, to, oh. Pumpkin's a superfood. A lot of people don't know that. So if Cash, the chickens eat too, too many pumpkins and the yolk's on you. <laughs> oh, yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, I'm B Brian, said, man. B said, B C said his chickens like watermelons. He I also said it. chickens are the perfect prepper food. If you could only have one animal, even in a city, a few chickens would keep you in eggs. I, I agree. I, yeah, Renewable. Something source. else. You can... to kill the animal. And then once they get to where they're not producing anymore, then you can use that as a meat bird as yep. well. Something else so, you can feed poultry, mealworms. Yep. Uh, and those mealworms are, are easy to raise because if you've got some mealworms and you keep them in a container, mm -hmm. and you can put them in a small aquarium or something like that, and you just give them food scraps to eat. They'll turn yes. into beetles, and they will make more mealworms. Another hey, thing, too, is uh, you hey. just have to make sure nobody hey. tries to sneak mealworms into your food. Is if you have spoiled food that you can't eat or anything like that, let it go to maggots and they'll eat the maggots too. You put it up in the, you put it up high, and the maggots drop down in a in a pan and they'll pack them. Oh, my friend who's a uh, seventh grade science teacher had this. You know, you get those plastic drawers like at Target or anywhere. It's like four drawers in a row, and you can see through it, and the little drawers pull out. And so I was in her closet, and I was like, "What is that?" 
And I thought there they were, and I thought because she was looking for a like a scarf, you know, like a crochet scarf in a color. I said, oh, I'll go look. And I opened it, and she had mealworms in there. Whoever just said raised squib, that was you, I think. And it was so funny. I opened, I was like, oh my god, there's like carrots in there, and then all those things. And then I stu- and it was mealworms. Isn't that funny? She kept them in her closet, in the little Rubbermaid drawer system. Welcome, Kimmy. Simple and not always easy life. Welcome, okay, that's welcome. hard. Good going, yeah, Oily. Pronouncing that. Oily's humble home, aka the Oily Prepper. <laughs> Right on. Call me Oily. That's all you need to do is call me Oily or Tasha. Either one. P A S H A. We got canoes. Hey, canoes. Mm mm. And they call. Oh. Call Candy. in Oklahoma for. Hey, we do have lakes and rivers. Yes. Yep. Remember, they go noodling up there. Eruption. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. Some big old catfish. Southern Ark says she has two white leg horns, some gold sex links, and some others, too. Cammies is a prepper also. I hope I'm saying that correct. Am I saying that correct? Cammies, or is it? Yeah, I'm sure it's probably Cammies. It could be Carnies. No, it's Cammies. Oh, thank you. Yes. So, in Anyway. If it's not, it is now, Mouse. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We've done made it happen. So are there any other small animals or animals that uh, any of you viewers think or any of the panel thinks would be a, of a, a great benefit, the, the energy it takes to take care of them versus what you're going to get out of them? Did, did we discuss raising the chickens for, for the eggs or just for the meat? Both. And okay. then you can use the shells also to, to clean, dry out, and grind up and put on your garden, which helps provide calcium. So I would submit that you have a fertile rooster so that mm-hmm. you get the eggs and you can keep keep that sustainable or know how to do the, you know, have like an incubator that you can run and, and raise the eggs. And the other thing right. that's cool about that, too, is if you come across a clutch of eggs in the woods if you're hunting or whatnot you can raise those eggs too doesn't matter what kind of yeah, bird it is like quail around here right yep uh, we want to be able to raise some quail because that's some good eating right there quail um, turkey uh, ducks if, geese if you're raising um uh chickens i think it's for egg laying then you, you need to keep track of which ones are producing and which ones have stopped producing right. i have a friend also, oh i'm sorry <laughs> Uh, I've got a friend who has chickens, ducks, and rabbits, and I asked him about his his duck or his geese. Sorry, geese. Hmm. And uh, see, I have geese duck, and duck, duck goose. Yeah, <laughs> he says I raise them for Christmas dinner, but they do produce eggs. Uh, about every other week, they produce eggs. He says rabbits are easier to produce for for meat. So I guess you get more bang for your buck. Remember, like the male rabbits will eat the babies, so you got to separate them whenever. Like hamsters. Mm -hmm. There's 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 some um, alignment there too with the rabbits and the chickens, because you'll get the required fat from the eggs, so you can eat the rabbits. But you you have some variety there too. You can eat eat rabbits' rabbits' eggs. No, no. I was going to say, I've never <laughs> seen. Okay. Because I like rabbits, they got eggs. Dude. Come on, the, the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny oh, brings the eggs. Yeah, okay. good point. Good the point. Cadbury <laughs> Easter Bunny. <laughs> I pictured never seen that. <laughs> so crazy. You ain't never had rabbit eggs? So Come if you, I can go to the store, buy a chocolate <laughs> Easter Bunny, and then. You think? <laughs> Wait till it lays them. <laughs> they make all kinds of funny noise when they're laying the eggs. Yes, they do. <laughs> well, I'm just, I, I'm not raised rabbits myself. This is just what this book says, and I'm not saying that it's an expert, but that's just what I read in here. So I'm thinking it probably is true, but anybody who's raised rabbits, let me know for sure if that is true. I got a question. But, you know, birds are great also for pest control. Or, I got know. a serious question. Serious. You know? You said small animals. Can anybody tell me what the heck a chinchilla is? Ooh. 
Is what that is like that? a mink? It's, it's, it's like, a, like a, a mink. It's a rodent. Yeah. It's like it's a squirrel. It's a small rodent. animal. Okay. It's like a mink. Mm -hmm. okay. Not unlike the nutria rat of Louisiana. They serve that up in restaurants. Uh, ew. They do. Ew. It's a big They're rat. Nasty. <laughs> it's a big rat without a tail. Yes. Well, HRM Weapons said bacon flavored plankton bisquick is the next superfood. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. On a serious note, that made me think about hydroponics and made me think about tilapia. Growing. <laughs> Um, the poo fish. fish. Yes, wet vegetables. Mm -hmm. Because the fish, it's a symbiotic relationship. The to fertilize your plants, then it goes through, goes back to the fish, and it just keeps uh, revolving. So that's something else. Hey, Dusty one. Oh, Dusty made it. We'll also make good hey, one for other stock. Rabbits easy. I like hogs. Could feed anything and get growth. Yeah, that's true. Um, you gotta have a big fifty-gallon drum to dip them in, you know, to dehair them. They're big. Pigs, yeah. they're big. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cat, catfish. Other, mm -hmm. other fish are fine too. What's wrong with normal catfish? Well, nothing's wrong with normal ones, but abnormal. Too many abnormal ones. Abnormal but. catfish. What about them? <laughs> what about them Chinese fish <laughs> jumping out into the boat and you hit them with a bat? What are them things called? Oh my God, those, those are Asian carps. Yeah, yeah Asian carps. You have, you have to you, wear a helmet. Can you eat them? I think you could. I don't think so. They probably are bony. You can eat. You, you can eat. Them. It's a fish. <laughs> it wouldn't be poison. You wanted, you wanted to say you can eat pretty much anything. Pressure cooking a lot of things like fish. Well, also on the subject of, a lot of those uh, bones too. So think about that as well. So it kind of depends. I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna Google it. Yeah, Asian the, carp. Uh huh. Can you talking about Asian fish, I just wanted to let you know that in Hawaii we have this Honolulu fish market uh, where people basically they would bring their fish, and and there's been a problem because of all a lot of the fishing boats have uh, slave labor slave fishermen from like China or North Korea or so places like that and and where they're basically it's slave labor on the ship and and so that then these boats will pull into Honolulu and try and sell all the, all, the, all their fish uh, that were caught with slave basically by the slaves on these ship ships and it's just uh, people or the, the slaves are trying to jump ship and it's just a gigantic mess so they trying to deal with it uh, with the uh, like like first they consider closing down the Honolulu fish market and because it, it's hard to separate out I mean once there's a fish just a hanging like a big tuna I mean it's hard to tell who who which one was caught with regular people uh, or and which one was caught with slave labor so uh, there's YouTubes on how to eat an Asian carp who knew <laughs> Okay, BC went. So are you, are you going to go all Forrest Gump? Go, all right, you can have carp stew. You can have <laughs> fried, fried, <laughs> fried, 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 fried. Okay, uh, BC went and Google carp yogurt. <laughs> we got one of those uh, restaurants. What, what is it, Bubba Gums or something? Yeah. Yeah, we got one of those. Chain, that chain, we got one of those on the sea front. <laughs> okay, wait. BC went and Googled because somebody said symbiotic, so he made a sentence. He said, yes, the pilot fish has a symbiotic relationship with the orca whales. <laughs> so he had to go Google something. He said. <laughs> Saw a really good show about the 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 uh, whether there's still a, a live uh, – that, that gigantic 100-foot shark, the Megalodon. Megalodon, uh -huh. yes. That was total fiction. Yeah, that was, was irritating. Did you see that for Halloween? <laughs> well, they had a picture of the on, on the big island of that one whale that got chomped and cut in half. It would have been it would have been more believable if Ian Ziering was on the boat. Yes. Yeah. So God. Did you did you say, BC, that the, the pilot fish's name was Otis? Is that what you're saying? I think he did say that. <laughs> or the whale. The, no, the, the whale was Cletus. The whale 
I mean, I'm not a pilot whales, but not the, pilot the orca fish. was Cletus, and the and the pilot fish was Otis. Yep. Flip, flam, nose. So squid, did you see that? Did you see that megalodon show Bingo. about with the whole live thing that they shot in 2013 off of South Africa? Yeah, yeah the total phony live show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Remember Geraldo Rivera opening <laughs> Al Capone's vault or something? You know, I do not, remember that. It was just full of, full of air. He found a glass bottle. <laughs> Oh God, Doug is the pilot fish. B says. B uh, says. I thought maybe the pilot fish's name was Ace, since he was a pilot. Ace. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Ace is wild. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Deuces. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, sorry. Just couldn't couldn't resist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I leave. Short. <laughs> yes. I have a... Now he's a one-legged man on a whaling ship, a laughing. Oh, God. Mm, Not the red Snoopy. There Snoopy you go, flies the a plane. Snoopy flies a plane. The plane. The plane. <laughs> Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Oh, God. No, Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? <laughs> Lucy, I'm home. Lucy, oh, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the moon, okay, eels make good eating if you're on the ocean and you could uh, but catch them. They, 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 they are hard to make. catch. Is it, Alligator have, garden. The trick is not to let them bite you. <laughs> it, have you watched Naked and Afraid where they went for the eels and they were like, Bzzz. okay, they well, throw them the land? I, I was, I had this, we rented this house that had a, uh, like a uh, indoor, had, well, had this tide pool, like they built on the ocean. And basically we would throw out some, there were some fish and two eels that lived there. And we would like throw out uh, uh, a piece of bread and, uh, and, and well, if we just threw it by the eel crevasse, they would just come out and, just the, the heads would pop out and grab the piece of bread and then go back into the crab bass. But then. Oh, oh my goodness. What happened? I think an eel took his bread. Okay. Oh, she, he is gone. An he, eel. He's Did been he talking about an EMP for the longest time. He must have got hit. Oh, Let's see if he I can just find got it. zapped. The eel crevasse. He said eel crevasse. We're like intellectual hour with eruption tonight. BC's getting more learning down Louisiana way than he ever got in like all five years when he went to school. I mean, an eruption, you are off the chain tonight. Well, are you going to try to find a semi symbiotic relationship with that eel crevasse? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some symbiosis going. Hey, I'd rather deal with an eel than one of those fish that or it shouldn't go like if you get a little drop Ooh. of urine in the water. The the the, the penis fish. That's ugh. Okay. <laughs> the, the penis fish? Yeah. That's They'll for swim real. Up the, up the wee -wee yeah. If, oh my if you Yeah, and then the they and then they flex all. out their fins and they lock because in. You can't yeah. pull them out. Do you know what yeah. the grooviest thing about that is? Is it only happens to men. Woo woo, score one for the chicas. You don't think they wouldn't not been a woman? No, Oily, they don't. They said they don't. You have to be peeing for them to make it up the oh, to yeah, swim up the urethra. I don't I don't I be peeing. Leaky bladder. I wouldn't want to have a leaky okay. bladder. <laughs> well, no. what? Hashtag, they only attack women with crush rods. Okay, women don't oh. pee in the water. Adult diaper, adult swimming diapers, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Women don't tinkle in the water. Guys can wear one of those uh, a cup. <laughs> okay. I at the Tiger says, hashtag, don't fish with your pee. <laughs> <laughs> creek. Hashtag, yes. don't pee in the creek. That's right, in the creek. Oh, oh my wait a God. Minute. Okay. You all right? I right? Oh, Oh I think I found God. my eel pictures. Let me see. Oh, oh, hey, God. it's a family show. We, yeah, can no we, we can't show any kind of crevasse here. We, <laughs> if somebody spells that, we trees going to juice them with a rich. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag uh, 
Hashtag right. Creek Dapper. There you go. Yes. All right. I'll do a screen share really quick of these eels from, uh, there's this house called the Sunrise House. Uh, I don't there know if you guys see, see this. A house hold in on, New hold on. Orleans. Can you see these eels? Hold on. Wait, we got to wait. It takes a minute. It takes a minute. She's got to present you in things. Hashtag slow people. I, we're going to pres present you to other one. You know? Oh, eruption. You know? What is this? These are the two eels. eels. Oh, it's the eels. Okay, I didn't see. I just yeah. didn't know. It's not on the YouTube one yet. I was watching it. Ooh, it's blue. It's so blue. Well, you can see its eyes here. It has eyes? And, yeah, it's got eyes and teeth and everything. And you oh. can't tell, but when it came out, basically I was swimming in this uh, tide pool, but the, the eels don't come out unless you throw a big piece of bread out for them. Uh, and then they'll come out and swim for it and then swim right back to their crevasse. But uh, it's, um, they're like 10 feet long. Huh. Yeah, wow. When, when you see their heads, it's, you only see like six inches or something, so you, you know, or, or less. And um, so basically, I, I would just sit down by the edge of the tide pool and throw them a piece of bread right to where they were living, and they would just, you know, eat it and uh, go back to their home, basically. And not, but if you throw it in the middle of the tide pool, and it's a big enough piece, then they'll see it and they'll go get it. But uh, I was swimming in this tide pool, and uh, was it a crevasse? Where's the crevasse? Where's, Where's the, the crevasse? crevasse? That's what. Well, you will. You, I mean, see if I can pull out the picture. <laughs> HRM. <laughs> Here's the tide pool no. picture. Yeah. Some fish. Not, not plumber's crevasse, though, okay? Right, right, <laughs> right. Don't swim. Do swim in day water. Oh, why? Wait, Tree. We just got to read it. <laughs> HRM kills me with that. <laughs> no, is hey, the one that took it off. Oh, okay, because that was it doesn't funny. say it was retracted by Wee Tree. He took it off himself. Okay, Wee Tree was innocent. What's in the crevasse? Jared says hashtag. What's it? Oh, oh, is it his mouth open in that shot? Well, these aren't the eels. Oh. These are fish. Oh. Uh, that, and basically, there's a big tide pool, and there's a bunch <laughs> of fish. And I see a black great. and yellow one. Yeah, it's a butterfly. There's fish. the eel. Here's the eel. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Electric eel is what I'm thinking, okay? Yes. Yeah, I'm Ooh. zooming in on him for you. You can see his head and his Yes. Body. Oh. He's ugly thing, ain't he? Yes, he is. Ah. They just sneak out of a little rock hole, don't they? Yep. And uh, they, so they kind of blend in if they're down next to the yeah, rocks. Right. You do have to be careful. Uh, eels that are kept in captivity can develop some sort of disease, and the ones that uh, are wild usually don't have it. Um, so this is like a borderline. It's, it's it, the way the tide pool was built, uh, it was that things could swim in. It's just harder for them to swim out, so they're not really captive. They're wild, but it's they're kind of captive because they they decided okay. to move in. Okay, they're they can, eruption. They're captive because they can't get out. And BC said that's a damn dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> this picture looks its lips. Hashtag eel whisper. Okay, yes. okay. They're, they're either in captivity eruption or they're free to leave. There's no in between. Finger Lakes, I'll let you be the the eel well, whisper. No, I don't think I'm that's eruption. That. He, he's the eel whisper. Look, he's showing us his his clutch of crevasse dwellers here. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that sound like a dirty word? Crevasse. Oh god. <laughs> Dirty work. God. Caesar eel crevasse whisper. Oh my lord. <laughs> we have joked. That laugh of yours just gives me the giggles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh God. Oh my gosh. That is a big face deal. And I'm telling you, it's bottom lip 
and top is dolphin like I'm with EJ. I mean BC. I'm with got a massive underbite though. So. Yeah, he does like he needs to see the. He's like, hey, uh, do you got a cigarette and a light? <laughs> Hey, does my bottom lip look fat to you? Now he's no. just looking up at up to see if we're gonna throw him any bread. That's all he's looking up for. All right, what's it's, his name? You know you named him. So what is his name? He, he lives in a place called the Sunshine House. It's a vacation <laughs> rental, and anybody could rent Hello, it. Hello, Sunshine. Your name is Ed. Ed the eel. <laughs> <laughs> like Teddy Bear. No, I, I was thinking if I was gonna name him, I'd name this eel Oily. Speckles. How about BC, oily? BC says that is one very rare speckled dolphin. <laughs> like you said. With a massive underbark. Okay, what did HRM do that time? Cly okay. Eye of the tiger. Wait, says climb out of the carpet. 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 What did HRM do? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Does his lip does his lip make me look fat? Ark said. Oh, <laughs> hey, Di, glad to see you. Oh God! Well, guys, guess what? It's already been an hour. Stop hey, it! What? Well, we've talked about all kinds of animals that you could raise. You can raise eels. Yeah. It. What did you call that place? The Sunshine House. The Sunshine House. That's where we can go for some good eating. Oily well, eel. if you eat their eels, that you eat, go there and eat their eels. <laughs> well, if we the had to. The Volcano Squad is is an expert in eelology. He's an eelologist. Yes. That eel does need braces, finger legs. I'm telling you, he's got a <laughs> he massive does. underbite. Yeah. Right. Oh my you can, god! You can it's see just... his teeth are are like uh, serrated uh, razors. That, um... Yeah. But the, he's not going to bite you. He's going to go, like Oily said, bzzz. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe we could plug you a toaster in. <laughs> yes. Well, there are electric eels in the Amazon, but this ain't, this ain't one of them. Oh, my no, gosh. No, it's not fun. Gosh. Okay, you know what? You could harness, you could raise electric eels for power. There you go. Hey, Thank yeah. you. Awkward situation right there. Drop your toaster cord right there in at the Sunshine House pool and get you some toast. You sure? <laughs> okay, let's see. The prepper eologist. Oh, God. Eologist. Eologist, 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 eologist. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That was the best. Award, you get the gold star for the night. Holy smokes. E Hashtag eel dentures. <laughs> oh God, Atorium. <laughs> oh. Okay, you can stop presenting me. But you instead of stop presenting you. <laughs> we like right? the eel. He's cute. Oh God. Eel dentures. <laughs> so basically, we figured out you can raise chickens, right? We learned about. We did some chicken business. Because yeah. we don't want to farm. Mm -hmm. So we, we actually goats. They pee on themselves. The boys. They're kind of icky. Yeah, they jump. Remember, they jump on your in, equipment. Jumping jump, into cars. They jump yeah. on your equipment. And you get fainting goats, goats too. But goats are good for making, you know, goat cheese and and goat's milk and things like that. Even if you don't like the taste of it to drink, you can use it for cooking. But you know, a lot of people once they get used to. The goat's milk is easier to digest, first of all. Good night, BC. Oh, man. All right, BC. Good night. Love ya. Eek. Hashtag use the pan. Oh, Lord. Okay. God, this has been an hour. It doesn't seem that long. I know. Can you believe it? Mm -mm. I would go on longer, but I don't think my bladder's going to hold. No. <laughs> You got no. those pans. Yeah, that's true. She could pee in the pan. Yeah. All right, here we go. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's on now. It's good practice, right? <laughs> I can pull those right now. This, this is for not what? a drill. This is not a drill. Up. No, this is real. <laughs> this is for educational purposes only. All right, next time we'll have a bedpan so that I can sit on it during the show. How about okay. that? All right. Or some camo diapers. Yes, camo, camo diapers. diapers. Hashtag camo adult. 
side piece. Good night, <laughs> y'all. Bye bye. Oh, good night, good night everybody. everybody. Good night, right. everybody. Thanks you mean to that's your lady it? Mouse, Squib, and Hawaii for coming and joining me. And thanks to everyone out there in the external and all our newbies for coming. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Every Thursday, 8 Central. Bye, guys. Use the